Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature that is rolling out to the Office apps. So up until now, um, the Office apps, if you would click on the file, you would get something very basic. Uh, let's go and check uh, the Word. So I'm, I entered the Word uh, application. I could choose it from here. Look for it. If I don't see it, I can look for all of the apps. And here it is. So I opened it up. And now if I go to the File tab or File menu, I, I see something which is very close to what uh, the Word uh, or Office app has in the desktop. So for the first option, New, I can either create a new document or browse from a template. Second of all, in an open, I can open something from a recent file which was open. I can view all files, which that is a bit strange. Let's see what happens. So it's searching all of the files on my OneDrive. And um, probably if I was in uh, SharePoint, it would open all files in SharePoint. The last one is interesting. Open a file from this device. So actually, from the web, we're opening a file. I will choose, for instance, this one. It's uploading it to the location where other files are located. I see here um, something was blocked. But let's try again without the blocking. So I will go to open, open the file from device, and do this. And um, it's... Now it's uploading this document. As you can see, it has um, uploaded it, uh, something that was located on my client. Um, the next thing is sharing. So I can, from here, share with people. I can copy the link of the document. I can embed this document and I can manage permissions. Next one is to create a copy. So I can create a copy online or I can download the copy. Next one is actually printing. I, I don't know if it was possible before to do that, but it's using actually my, um, my printer, local printer settings, which is uh, very interesting. Next one is export. So if it's because I'm in a Word document, I can export it and download as a PDF, download as PDF with comments, download to ODT, I'm not sure what that means, export to, X, to PowerPoint, that means that totally it converts it to a PowerPoint. Now, a, a nice feature is actually this rename, because up until now, uh, users were not sure where to change the name of the file. So, if you know it, then you can come up here and you can actually edit it. And you see it saves it. But sometimes it's more um, makes sense to go to rename and you see it takes you to the place where the name is stored and then you can do whatever you want. Next one is actually move file. So it's the functionality where you can choose where you want to move it within your run drive or if you want to go to a SharePoint library or site and if I say I move it to here it is now moving the file to the Ask HR site and if we look now we will see actually that uh, where is it stored Okay, I guess it moved it. So this is actually um, what we have. We can see the history of the changing. And the last one is the info. The interesting thing is here you can also open in the desktop. In addition that you have here the edit. And always open in view mode. View only. That's interesting. I haven't seen that. And that's... Uh, cool. 
uh, you see uh, autosave online is always um, here so let's go and see what, how it is in Excel so I'm now in Excel online and we will go here the new uh, blank workspace and browse template open we can open all files open the file from this device share is very similar also it's a copy uh, you can oh here you can export and download as a CSV you can rename history and here just notice we have uh, options we have regional uh, settings and reset uh, and change pane so let's see what is this so change the original format so we can change it to different uh, language last but the thing is for the powerpoint we're going to the file uh, menu and we have new which is similar the open the share the copy and uh, we can export here um, as an image that's new we can, as we said, uh, rename and uh, what else? History versioning, and we can also um, see the information. Here you can see actually the location. So, this is a new change that is rolling out to Microsoft uh, Online. Um, I'm not sure how many uh, use online as the default ones. Most people uh, like the desktop app, but uh, it's definitely good when you want to work with uh, multiple people, and that is great for co-authoring. So um, thank you for your time and listening, and if you like my channel, subscribe, and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.